The Air Force Technology Transfer Program helps move important new technologies from Air Force Research Centers into the private sector, where they can benefit the U.S. military and American economy. This is the story of one of them. Situational awareness, knowing where soldiers are and what is happening in real time, is a critical aspect of any military mission. The advent of the smartphone provided an opportunity to address this concern. The smartphone is a Star Trek device. It has a dozen capabilities in one thing, which when combined together are completely new from a capability perspective. Software development by a team of AFRL scientists and engineers, aided by rigorous field testing with the Air Force Special Operations Command, resulted in the creation of an Android app called ATAC, the Android Team Awareness Kit, an interactive smartphone mapping application that can track multiple team members in real time. They could look down and see where everybody is. They could communicate with them, text or video, one-click communication. ATAC was used by special forces, but Kohler wanted to have the technology adopted across the Department of Defense before outside developers came in with something similar. I wanted one application that other people could build on, a standard extensible platform that provides the basics for everybody and the customizability that everybody needs. To do that, Kohler sought to have ATAC offered as an open source software application. What he was asking for was something the DOD had never done before. Ralph Kohler had these, he's a very brilliant man, and he looked up every instruction that says, this is what I can do. And he said, it didn't say I couldn't do a license that he was envisioning. In other words, uh, freeware. Offering ATAC as freeware would not only assure faster adoption, but it would enable upgrading and new uses for the government owned application. If the government has a thing and you build on it, the government gets it. We came up with a particular license that we were already authorized to use. It was a non-exclusive license, and we modified that. We created a portal, and a company can log in, fill in all the information, and then once it's approved, the company can go back on that website, and they can auto-generate the license. The novel licensing strategy worked. Not only has ATAC seen adoption across the Department of Defense, but within months of its release, over 50 companies licensed the ATAC software. One of those companies was Avwatch. Avwatch, uh, we uh, are doing several things. One, uh, we have a, a deployable response capability. We have a, a fleet of aircraft that are, are networked to the ground. We're, we're networked uh, into multiple communications networks so we can communicate easily. Uh, can you move the center of your one mile orbit? Uh, we can stream situational awareness to, to people on the ground of what's happening in real time. We did it for the Deepwater Horizon BP oil spill. We did it for Mississippi River flooding, multiple fires, Hurricane Irene, Hurricane Sandy, the Boston Marathon scheduled events. Um, we can provide that service. ATAC is used by federal law enforcement and security, the Department of Homeland Security, as well as other important government agencies. If you see a huge event on TV, it's probably there. ATAC is used by somebody to keep track of the security for that event. ATAC's widespread adoption as an affordable, easy to use, secure, interactive communication system is a testament to the work of AFRL scientists and engineers and to a technology licensing model that will provide benefits for years to come. For more information, contact the Air Force Technology Transfer Program.